The Royal Ordnance Factory Leeds, Britain's largest and most advanced heavy armoured fighting vehicle factory, is the centre of Project 4030 manufacturing activities. Whilst many of the components and subsystems are produced elsewhere in the United Kingdom, the vehicle structure is manufactured completely at Leeds. Hulls for Phase 1 vehicles are in full production. These are built from castings and plates machined in the factory. Specially designed fixtures and manipulators capable of rotating a complete tank hull are used so that skilled craftsmen can weld in the optimum position to obtain the highest quality. Once the hull structure is complete, it is machined and all the detailed attachments completed. Following painting, the finished hull moves onto the assembly line, where the complex process of installing all the various components takes place. After assembly of suspension, electrical and hydraulic systems, the driving controls, engine and gearbox are installed. Quality checks are carried out after each assembly stage. Following fitting of the tracks, hulls move off the line under their own power, ready to accept completed turrets, which are being manufactured in parallel. The turret casting is first machined and the rest of the turret structure welded onto it. Again, the skilled labour force using specialised equipment obtain and maintain the highest quality. After painting and welding of all attachments, the main armament mounting, turret race ring, gun controls and sighting systems are assembled and interconnected. Following installation of the 120mm gun, all systems are subjected to rigorous quality checks before the turret is ready for fitting onto the hull. At this stage, the turret weighs around 12 tonnes, and this delicate operation requires very careful coordination. Following the final connection of all the systems, and after further quality checks, the completed vehicle moves off to the factory testing grounds. This suspension test course also checks the gun stabilization system and this 30 degree ramp, the functioning of the power pack to extreme limits. Each vehicle undergoes a comprehensive test program to ensure that it meets the specifications for the total weapon system before being released by the factory as fit for delivery to the customer. Parallel with the production of Phase 1, proving vehicles of Shiriran 1 with the 1200 horsepower power pack and other related changes have been built, followed by this production reference vehicle. All of these are now undergoing confirmatory trials, and the manufacture of the production vehicles has commenced. Deliveries into the factory storage yards for the Shiriran production program occur daily from all over Britain. Changes are being made to buildings in the factory and the layout of the production plant is being altered to obtain the ideal manufacturing sequence for the new vehicle. Pilot batches of components for Shiriran 2 production proving vehicles are being produced. This important activity is providing advanced confirmation of the final manufacturing sequence. It also supports the preparatory action taken to design and manufacture the new specialized welding fixtures and other equipment required for the main Shiriran 2 production. The hull welding manipulators necessary for consistent quality during quantity production require extensive modification for Shiriran. These manipulators, together with new hull welding fixtures, are already being used to produce the Shiriran 2 proving vehicles, which then move on to the hull machining operation to also prove this new but most important facility.
The proving process extends right through manufacturing sequences, including Chobham armor. Numerically controlled machines have been programmed to drill the many plates involved. To ensure the maintenance of the exceptionally high level of protection, the design of the armor and its attachments have been carefully refined in production. The first trial assembly to a shearer arm proving vehicle has been successfully completed. The turrets for the Shiri Round 2 proving vehicles have also been built and are being fully equipped prior to the fitting of Chobham armour. Project 4030 production activities are proceeding well at the Royal Ordnance Factory Leeds. Phase 1 is in full production, Shiri Round 1 manufacture has started and preparations for Shiri Round 2 are well advanced.